Sugar is everywhere. It's in our drinks, snacks, desserts, sauces, and even bread. We consume it daily, often without realizing how much we're eating. But what happens if you decide to quit sugar for 30 days? How will your body react to this drastic change? And what are the benefits of cutting out added sugar from your diet? In this video, we will share with you some of the benefits of cutting out added sugar from your diet for a month. First of all, let's define what we mean by added sugar. Added sugar is any sugar that is not naturally present in food, such as table sugar, honey, maple syrup, agave nectar, corn syrup, and other sweeteners. Added sugar can be found in many foods and drinks, such as soda, candy, cookies, cakes, ice cream, and coffee drinks. It does not include the natural sugars found in fruits, vegetables, dairy products, and whole grains. The American Heart Association recommends limiting added sugar intake to no more than 6 teaspoons or 25 grams per day for women and 9 teaspoons or 38 grams per day for men. However, the average American consumes about 17 teaspoons or 71 grams of added sugar per day, which is around three times the recommended amount. The big problem here is that eating too much added sugar can have many negative effects on your health, such as increasing your risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver disease, and some cancers, damaging your teeth and gums, causing inflammation and oxidative stress in your body and disrupting your hormones and mood. So what happens when you quit sugar for 30 days? Well, here are some of the possible effects according to research. Number one, you may experience withdrawal symptoms. Sugar can act like a drug in your brain, stimulating the release of dopamine and endorphins, which make you feel good. According to a 2018 study, the most addicting foods to our brain are those high in added sugars or added fats. When you stop eating sugar, your brain may miss these signals and cause you to experience withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms may include feeling irritable, anxious, and depressed. You also may feel tired, dizzy, nauseous, or you may have headaches. These symptoms usually last for a few days or weeks, depending on how much sugar you were consuming before and how quickly you cut it out. Number two, you may improve your blood sugar control. Eating too much added sugar can impair your blood sugar control and increase your risk of type 2 diabetes. This is because added sugar can spike your blood glucose levels and cause your pancreas to secrete more insulin to bring them down. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, where your cells become less responsive to insulin and your blood glucose levels remain high. So by quitting sugar, you lower your blood glucose and insulin levels and improve your insulin sensitivity. This can help prevent or manage type 2 diabetes and its complications. Number three, you may lose weight. One of the most obvious benefits of quitting sugar for 30 days is that you may lose some weight. Sugar is high in calories and low in nutrients. It also spikes your blood sugar levels which can lead to insulin resistance and fat storage. By cutting out added sugar, you can reduce your calorie intake and improve your blood sugar regulation. This is because added sugar is a major source of calories in the typical American diet. The average American consumes about 17 teaspoons of added sugar per day, which adds up to about 270 calories. By cutting out these calories from your diet, you may create a calorie deficit that leads to weight loss. Of course, this also depends on other factors, such as your overall calorie intake, physical activity level, metabolism, and genetics. Now before we move on, if you find any of our videos helpful, hit the like button, it really helps us. Now let's get back to the video. Number four, you protect your liver health. You might be surprised to learn that sugar is not only bad for your teeth and waistline, but also for your liver. In fact, sugar is one of the main causes of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which affects up to 30% of adults in many countries. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a condition where excess fat accumulates in the liver, causing inflammation and scarring. This can lead to serious complications such as liver cancer and liver failure. This condition also increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, 
and metabolic syndrome. So how can sugar contribute to this disease? Well, sugar is composed of two simple sugars, glucose and fructose. Glucose can be used by most cells in the body for energy, but fructose can only be metabolized by the liver. When you consume too much sugar, especially in the form of added sugars in processed foods and beverages, your liver gets overloaded with fructose and converts it into fat. This fat then accumulates in the liver cells and causes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. According to a study done in 2017 on children and teens with obesity who consumed high amounts of sugar, cutting sugar for just nine days resulted in a 3.4% reduction in liver fat. Number five, you may lower your blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Another benefit of quitting sugar is that you may lower your blood pressure and cholesterol levels. High blood pressure and high cholesterol are risk factors for cardiovascular disease, such as heart attack and stroke. Many studies show that added sugar can contribute to high blood pressure and high cholesterol by increasing inflammation, oxidative stress, triglycerides, and uric acid in your body. By cutting out added sugar from your diet, you may reduce these harmful effects and protect your heart health. Number six, you may have better dental health. Sugar is one of the main causes of tooth decay and cavities. This is because sugar feeds the bacteria in your mouth that produce acids that erode your tooth enamel. The more often you eat or drink sugary foods or beverages, the more damage you cause to your teeth. By quitting sugar, you may prevent or reduce tooth decay and cavities by depriving the bacteria of their food source. You may also have fresher breath and less plaque buildup on your teeth. Number seven, you may have better skin health. Sugar can cause a process called glycation, which damages the proteins that keep your skin firm and elastic. Glycation is a chemical reaction where excess sugar in the blood or body binds to proteins or nucleic acids in the skin, forming advanced glycation end products. Glycation damages collagen and elastin, which are the proteins that keep skin firm and elastic. Damaging these two proteins can cause skin aging signs like wrinkles, age spots, skin thinning, and inflammation. Also, as you may know, sugar is linked to acne breakouts. One of the ways sugar can lead to acne is by triggering inflammation in your body. Inflammation is a natural response to injury, infection, or stress, but too much of it can be harmful. Inflammation can damage your skin cells, deplete your antioxidants, and increase your sebum production, all of which can lead to clogged pores and acne breakouts. So these were the health benefits of quitting sugar, but let us know what you think. Will you quit sugar? What is the hardest thing for you about quitting sugar? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.